Do you continue to be a believer in the uh, in the oil and gas patch? Very much so. Uh, I've uh, just initiated uh, a big new investment in uh, Meg Energy. Uh, I've got a big investment in Pengrowth. Uh, and uh, one of the things that's happened in the oil and gas patch is the government, again, we were dealing with a socialist government, they take a and the companies post land that's open. They do a little work. They buy seismic. They think there's something there. They put it up for auction. They have to be the high bidder. They're the high bidder. They get the land. Eventually, they drill it. Then, if they find anything, they pay royalties. Then, they pay income tax. The government is collecting rentals. And they also set up a fund uh, for abandonment costs. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the companies give them a letter of credit on that. Now, they discovered, much to their amazement, uh, the government made a mistake, which that only happens in this country about every day. Uh, and the mistake was they didn't have enough money in this fund. So what they decided to do is they said, well, we're going to put our government reclamation fund ahead of all the creditors. Right. Who are the creditors? The creditors are the banks. The banks go absolutely catatonic. They go wild. And they turn everything over to their collection departments. And they're harassing every junior and intermediate oil company out there. And, and they're trying to pull back as fast as their little legs can carry them. And it must be hard to raise money, new money. Oh, you know, the, nobody will give any new... Nobody wants to put money up. We want to put money up to grow the assets and do the things required to increase their productivity, we don't want to give money to a company to pay banks back. Now, the banks have to be paid back at a cash flow, but they're choking the cash flow that's required to pay them back. We have a federal system. It is right now seeing east-west tensions, the likes we haven't seen since I was very young. Uh, in fact, when this prime minister's uh, father was in power. What do we need to do to, to repair this, Seymour? Because right now we've got, you know, Quebec opposed to pipelines going west from Alberta. It's a very strange situation. Look, were, were I the premier of Alberta, I would say there's not... You can take me to court, you can do what you want. I'm not signing another check for another dollar of transfer payments until they want a corridor. Now, he has said something good. He wants to put corridors across the country. Energy is a provincial affair. What the federal government is doing in there, I don't understand. I don't understand how you can have 17 court decisions in favor of something, and the last judge decides you didn't do enough to protect the orca whales, so we're going to stop the development. But if it's a provincial affair, it's also a BC provincial affair. Don't we need the federal government to step in and rule? over Absolutely. all the provinces? You know, you, you, need, you need to have a friendly government. Look at what's happened in the United States, how they've opened up their, their energy industry and how, how they've struck down the choking regulations. They're not enslaving themselves. Not only that, we're enslaving ourselves to opinions that are being financed offshore by foundations in the United States. And th these are a minority of people that are destroying our society.